Hey everybody, it's Barbie from Nellie and Ruth Designs, and today I'm going to take some time and uh, work on some tags that I have um, purchased off of designs designed by Vintage 717 Studio. Um, but first, I'd like to thank everyone for joining in, for following along. And for if you're crafting along with me, that's great. So thank you. So I'm working on a journal and I want to make some ephemera. So it's just a ongoing process. So this one I just put together. The front cover of my journal, and I believe I've showed you in previous videos, but if you're new, I'll show you again. This is the front cover uh, and the back, and this is material <clears throat> with these wonderful retro and vintage women on. So I wanted to use some of the fabric as well in tags and in other spots in the book. So I went ahead and I took a piece that I have. And I just started ripping. I just started ripping and tearing, and it's it's actually quite easy to to rip into pieces. Um, so <clears throat> I ripped these the other night while I was watching TV. Put them there, and then I did some single ones. This I will iron out, um, and I also did some some double ones, and that's where. I have them attached. I have them have have it sewn on to this tag. So I do like the dimensions, the 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 dimensional, you know, the um, little flip here. If I wanted to, I could have put a small piece of um, plain paper on here, and it could have been a little little just a little note journaling spot for a date or whatever but I wanted to keep it like this and then on the back I just have another gal on here and you can flip her back to write your comments and notes on so like I said um, these I ran off and I cut them out this morning um, and I already went ahead, I put in the, I have a punch. Uh, we are memory keeper punch for the whole protectors. So I already went ahead and, and put them on. I don't like doing a lot of this busy work on camera. It's, it's boring. Um, <laughs> and I don't, certainly don't want to bore anyone out there. So I went ahead and I distressed them all around the edges. And so now I figured I would, I've pulled a few things here that I would like to, you know, show you this one here. Um, I'd like to make another one just like this. I like to make two of a style. Um, that way, if I, you know, it gives me the opportunity, you know, if I want to use both in the journal. This is a very thick journal. There are a lot of, of pages here so if I use two of one thing or three of one item it's it's really no big deal um, but I do like to make multiples of the same and then you know I can send them out to friends um, you know if I receive items from them I like to have a little cachet and then I can um, send them back some goodies as well so I'm going to find another one that is the same size as this. Yeah, this is the same size. Um, and I'm going to use, I have pulled, you know, a few different things here. So I'll see how, I'll see how far I, I get. Um, let's just set her right here. And I will fray her, this one, a little bit more. Um, I think I'm going to use this one. And it's not that she's she's missing her feet, not because 
um, I cut them off, it's because that's where the line went and that's how she appeared on the material. So let's see if I can get a little bit more fraying done on here. Today's going to be kind of a quiet day while I'm videoing because I just, I want to concentrate on, usually I have my Netflix on and I'm watching my Netflix, which I just finished Virgin River today, season two. So I hope they do come out. I'm sure they're going to have, the way it ended, they're going to have to come out with a third season. So I finished that this morning when I was working on running these off and cutting them out. Um, okay, so I think that's good. I don't want to do too much. So I think I just want to see, I don't know if I want to cut, this is a really pretty tag. And I don't know if I want to cover that entire design up. These are a little busier, so these would work out. Because as you can see, this one didn't have a lot of design on it. So I didn't feel too bad about covering that up. But this one is, I, I would hate to cut. I'd, I'd like to do something else with that. So, um... This one's a little bit darker. Let's see this. And I know I want to, I was going to use this one, but I think this, this one here would actually be a little bit better because of the green. And I do like this material because of how it's the white lines, you know, every, the women are framed. So And I, like I said, I was originally going to use this one, but I think the green is much better with um, her dress. So, And I'm not going to use this tag because of the angle. I want to use uh, one with the rounded corners because of this. It, it fits right up in there nicely. So now I think I will, again, I think... Because it's going to be covered up quite a bit, I think I'm going to use this one just because it's a little bit busier and that's okay. So, all right. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to have to just excuse myself for one minute while I get this sewn on. So let me get this sewn on real quick. And I have everything piled, of course, in front of my sewing machine. And I think in past videos I've shown you where I've drawn the thread through so um, it's not, it's more of a clean. I'm not doing that on here. I do want these little fibers to show. So these cards here, these are journaling cards and I can't tell you, let's see, do I have, I think I have a pack. I can tell you um, where these came from. If I can find, I've, my desk just looks like a bomb went off on it. Oh, right here. Okay, so these cards here, I've had these a long time. So all these floral cards, um, they came, they're a Prima Marketing and it looks like it says something blue. 
They're three by four ATC, an ATC pad. So they have quite a few different uh, designs in here. And I think you get three of each. How many music? Yeah, you get three of each design. And they do have very pretty floral in here. So this is a fun little, I just broke this out. I hadn't used this before, but I did like the floral. So that's some um, Prima Marketing Something Blue 3x4 ATC uh, pay, uh, cards. And there's 45 sheets in here. So you could always check uh, to see if maybe Amazon has it or whatever. Okay, so we're going to take this. And we will tuck this behind here. And it's all right if it doesn't because of the, the stitching here. Just butt it right up against it. It's okay if it doesn't meet perfectly right up in here. This one doesn't either. It leaves you a little area to put something else. So. It was a really nice day here today. I took, I took the dogs for a walk with my girlfriend. Um, It's just been kind of quiet. Today was the first day um, let me just get this in here so I can as if I'm chatting it up. All right. Today was the first day that I actually went yesterday I planned. I don't want to go to the grocery store anymore because like I said uh coronavirus is really running rampant it's it's bad in our area in our surrounding areas our hospital is full um, with cases so I decided that I was going to do my grocery shopping online and then go pick it up so I I did that for the first time today and all went well the only thing is I I made arrangements to pick it up between eight and nine and I usually, on a Saturday morning, I like to sit and have my coffee and watch YouTube videos of different crafting, crafters, and I couldn't do that. Um, but, I mean, I was home by nine, and everything, got everything put away, and I was able to start my day, but um, so I've got in my in my uh this is a 1965 woman's day this is where i took out the a sewing lesson by mary it was an article and i just ripped a little bit of piece here off of this um now maybe i can continue with this this is kind of cute this has pattern sizes and again because um it's it's a simplicity. My my signatures are simplicity sewing patterns. I may just continue uh, with somewhat of a sewing theme. You know, I'm I'm. It's because it's a junk journal. I you can pretty much put anything in there that you want. Um, I have a tendency once I start with something I feel like it has to be that way um, you know if it's if you start out with sewing it should really be sewing all the way through but that's I think uh I think it's a misnomer and it, it's something I have to get out of my head um, And sometimes I think I'm the type that can overthink it, overthink everything. And then I start questioning myself, but I think that's just human nature.
There we go. Pattern size. Okay. Um, now, I promised myself I would work out of this one book from Tim Holtz. And why I bought it, I don't know. Um, it's small talk. It's snarky. And I didn't realize that it was snarky. And this can why limit happy to an hour. So I don't mind that. Um, I can be very snarky, but I'm you have to know me to understand how I think and comment on things. And I don't I don't want to put anything too offensive in here. I want it to be fun and happy. I want it uh, this journal to be an encouraging uh, journal. So there are some there are some in here that I do like. Um, you know, like I need a six month vacation twice a year. Um, but there's a lot that I can't use for this journal. Um, you know, I would like to confirm that I do not care. I can't, I can't use that. I wish I had looked closer because I don't know. Um, I don't know how many items I'm going to be able to. This, I am fabulous. This would be, I like this. I can put this here. How many of these I'm going to be able to use. Um. I just don't think, I don't know if it's appropriate for the, but, and I'm going to put this one up here, I think. All right, and let's see, I do want to use another one of these little, these are from Red Lead Paper Crafts. And this, this is actually a stamp, so I'll stamp ahead. And uh, I'm going to put She is Lovely. And then I just clip them out. And if you're not familiar with Red Lead, they have lovely stamps. I'm actually waiting on a an order that I placed back on December 9th and I had to contact Sharon last week and I said, could you please send me my tracking number? I have not gotten my order yet. And they're not, you know, they're only a few states away from me. So I really have no idea what is going on with, uh, the parcel cert, the, the post office, it still didn't come today. And it keeps saying it's in transit. So I don't know, but I'm just, I'm really getting disgusted with the mail. Um, I have my vintage shop, 518 Vintage Girl. And I've been, I've had, you know, since the new year, I've had a nice few, you know, a few nice sales. And I, I, tell people one was going to California and one was going to Florida and I said please contact me let me know when you get it because I just don't trust UPS or USPS um they're just they're awful okay so this uh ribbon here I can't tell you right now where I got it, but I will put it in. I'll, I will find my paperwork and I will put it in my um, description box. This is Italian ribbon and I absolutely, I just think it's beautiful. I, I have that and let's see. I bought this just for this journal. I bought the blue for the journal and I also bought, this is a very pretty like a periwinkle. I bought a navy blue and I bought a pink 
for down the road. I'd like to make a, a pink journal. So I'm using these for the, uh, the little pulleys, I call them pulleys, the little tag pulleys. So I'm going to use this one here. But yeah, I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty disappointed in the parcel service here, the post office that. And then that's how I attach mine, but then I do I do make a little tie right here at the top. Okay. And I just kind of pull it up. All right, so there's there are those two. Okay, I'm going to set these aside here. All right, uh, the next one I want to do, and I'm going to do a Tuesday treasure with this gal, but this is some stamp muslin that I, I bought from Timeless by Design on Etsy. So I just ordered a second round. I haven't even used all the first, but I absolutely love it. And in my journal, and I'll show you, I'll... I'm going to do another uh, one, but I'll show you how I use this in my journal for pockets as well. Um, but I just, I love this. So I wanted to use this. Uh, I know I, I pulled this scale. Um, I buy a lot of stickers from stick uh, from the UK. And this comes, these comes from Pix sticks picks and um beatrice has really great stickers so i wanted to, i know i wanted to use these in there and then on one of these tags and then this came out of the uh, woman's day book of these fashions sketched and i wanted to use these on the tags as well so this is what i've just gathered so far and um I like I'm going to save a bigger tag for last because I would like to make a pocket here. So I've got to think about this what I wanted to do. And I have all these small tags as well. Um, but I'll do I'll do little smaller. That'll be another day. Do little little bits and pieces. So let's see here. Um I really want to use this, but I don't know how I want to use it yet. So I'm still going to set that aside. Oh, well, let's see. This I want to use on a bigger one. I think what I'm going to do is maybe I will... I'd like to make this one into a pocket. I just don't know. And I would like to use the my master board that I made. Um, I'd like to cut a strip from this to create a pocket. And again, maybe I'll take this corner down here to make a pocket on here. Or I could use this side. That's always my biggest dilemma. Um, normally I cut these in three by five or four by six and then I, I create the tags or postcards. So let me see, if this is, if this tag, All right, it's just a little shy of four. So I could do, I'd have to do three and three quarters, say by three. I don't want the pocket to be too high. So if I do, let's see. All right, let's do three and three quarters by three. So I'm going to, 
going to cut this to three and three quarters. Let me see, and I guess this will tell too. So this is three and three quarters. So I would have this area here. And then if I did this side at three and three quarters, I'd have this here. And I guess I just have to see, I will probably, I'm going to do, I'm just going to cut this because I may end up, all right, so three and three quarters, and now I can tell, or I can take a look, see that would only give me, that would give me that there. And I don't know if I like that or not. If I want it <coughs> to be busier than that, I'm just going to flip this. So three and three quarters by. Hmm. I think I will do... This is where I become very indecisive. And, and then I think, why would I want to use my collage um, piece? Because I'd be covering a lot of it up. And then do I really want to use both, both pieces on this? All right, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to use this corner here. I just want to measure that again. Three and three quarters. Smaller. Okay. And I'll bring that down just a little bit because then that way. I can just trim those edges. And then I think what I'll do is I'm going to punch that so it's not it's not square across there. All right. So I guess right this area here. I can punch this and it's not too thick. There we go. Alright, so next I'm going to get this these trimmed, these uh, ends trimmed. And find my scissors here. Okay. All right, so let's get that. And I don't know if I want to sew this on or glue it on. Um, I really like the way everything looks when it's sewn, but I don't want people to, I don't want you to think that everything has to be sewn. I, it's just, it's just what you, what you like. And, um, 
So maybe what I'll do is I will just do one side and then I can um, adhere the rest on. with some glue. All right, let me just do that. I am going backwards on this when I just start it. There we go. Just to catch that top. There we go. Um, just because it was a little thicker. At the top. So I just started and then I backed up and went again just to catch that really well. And then I think I'll just glue the rest of it around the side here. And I thought maybe if I left my little pin out, it would be faster, but... Obviously needs to go in because it gets plugged. There we go. All right. Okie dokie. Let's get that. Get that. I like to take my Cricut tool and I just like to make sure it's all down nice and uh, and this actually when you do it it heats up a little bit from the friction so I think that helps a little bit as well all right Okay, so that's down. All right. Okay, dokie. All right. And I'm not going to worry about this not being perfect on the bottom. That doesn't bother me. And I really want to use, I want to get her pretty face on here. And let's see, I could still keep it consistent and use some words here, add a little bit more uh, depth. would like to use her but and if I have if I have this I will end up putting this uh, just attaching this on a page because I'll show you how large it is um, seeing that it's one of the bigger ones it's not going to be a tag that you're going to I will want this on let me just I will want it on one of my pages so if I have an overlap, that's okay, because I'll take another tag, and then the, this tag will fit right down inside. So, actually, I'll do a, a little bit smaller tag, or I might do, you know, I might do something like this. Um, so it doesn't bother me if 
I have some overhang with whatever I use on here. And I can even put that down a little bit. So this is Diane Clark for president. Now, do I want that? Oh, let's see here. Oh, I'm going to, I'm going to take, I want to see what this one looks like. And you do have to be careful when you have these old magazines from the 50s and 60s and maybe even the 70s, I don't know. Um, you do have to be careful because ripping because the paper is um, worn and it's worn out. It's thin. It's not like today's well I guess today's magazine I don't buy today's magazines I can't I can't justify paying I don't even know how much they are now what eight nine dollars for a magazine I, I can't do it I guess it's not where my priorities lie all right what do you think? This one or go back to this one? I think we'll go back to this one. I like the way this kind of comes off and around. We can use her on another. And let's see. So I'm going to... Get her edged up. Like that. I wasn't sure if I wanted to do her, but I think I just a little bit. Just so maybe she pops a little bit more. And let's see, what else here? Um, hmm. Let me see. Oh, I've got some of these. I pulled some old milk tags, too, that I think are really, I love using these. Um, and I think maybe what I'll do is I think it would be fun. I don't have them in yet. I had to order some pear um, clips, so they should be here any time. But I think what I'm going to do let's see which one am I going to use? Not the Merry Christmas one. We'll set that aside. Not that one there. I do like this one because it kind of, it really does blend with the paper. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to punch a hole in this. And then when I get my pair, um, my pair clips, I'm going to attach a little charm. Onto this that can hang down. And I think what I'll do is I will put this on with a pop dot so it's raised just a little bit so I can get 
get that on on there. So let's get this let's get this glued down here. And I'm going to go around this side here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it this way so I don't Oh, I don't get it messed up here. Okay. So I know exactly where. I think I want to bring this down just a little bit. So I'd like to have that overhang. Just a tad. There we go. And a lot of times I'll work this way because I don't, if I go, if I take it off and I go all the way around, I'm going to mess up and it's going to end up being glued. I'd end up gluing it um, closed. So that's why I lift it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this this on now with the pop dot because again if I this is a sticker and um, I just want to make sure that I don't stick that down and I don't leave room to put uh, Put my gale down. And don't throw, if you use these pop dots, don't throw, um, don't throw these away because as you can see, they come in handy when you've that there and then that way the little the charm can hang down and then we're just going to maybe I will use a couple pop dots for her as well and then that way she can sit right on top of that so let's see so we can Put her like this, and I'll just want one more there. And I do have dots. Um, I just want to use these up here. So this I can put. As long as I know she's going to be going there, I can put that there. And then this one I will actually put on. And I'm going to, because this is a sticker, I think this one's a sticker. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's going to come off. A lot of times I will take the back off so it doesn't peel off. But I don't think, I think this is on good enough where I don't have to worry about that. All right, so peel this off. There we go. So see now that's nice and eat level with that. And I do like the uh, the dimensions to that. The all right, so I'd like to put something up here. 
And probably, let's see if we have another little saying. How about she has courage? Seeing that she's running for president back in the back in the uh, 60s. I hope I haven't been out of camera, even if I'm I'm cutting, that's okay. I just Sometimes I should get markers on my board here so I can stay in frame. I'm always worried if I'm out of frame. Okay. And we're going to put that right there. This I'm going to clip. With the wrong scissors. Okay. All right. Put her right. I'm just going to add it right here. I don't want to cover up that. Well, she'll see president. It says prez, so. All right. So this, because of the size of it, this will fit. Um, and I am going to put, I am going to put some ribbon on that, but I think, I think I might do it a little differently. Um, I think I'm going to make this a little bit bigger and then it can hang over the top like a uh, bookmark, which might be kind of interesting. So let's get this unraveled here. Set that aside. And then when I, like I said, when I get my charm, and I'll add that. But now I think what I'd like to do is figure out, um, I think what I'm going to do is take, I'm going to take from my board and make a just a nice little square tag from my board here so we're going to want because it's glued and it's sewed i would go with a three inch um I would go with a three inch. So let's cut this here to three inches. It's getting dark outside and I really should turn some more lights on in my in my room here. I feel like I'm just working in the shadows. Maybe that helps a little bit. Okay. 
Okay, so I think this size will fit in here just nicely. Okay, nice three inch tag, there we go. Just make sure there's enough room there. And so now <clears throat> the question is how And I'm just going to kind of eyeball it. And I'm going to make my cut. I think we'll make it right about here. So this is about a little more than four and a half. All right, good. And I'm going to round, I'm going to round these corners so it's consistent with, and I'm using the, the quarter inch round here. A uh, half would be too, for me, would be too big. And I think I'm going to round the bottom as well. Corner. And do I want, I think what I will do, instead of having this be so long, let me see here. Um, I'll probably put another little that. I think I will cut this down some and I'm going to make a little, I'm going to punch a hole here and I'm going to feed that through. And I think I'm going to leave this tag alone just the way it is for right now. I'm not going to put anything else on the front of this. Let's get this threaded through. And I guess we will get this one threaded back through again. There. And that this could change or this could change. Um, I'll have to see. I'm not sure where. In my book, I plan on putting this in what section and what signature. Um, but chances are I will I will keep this like this and I may even maybe even now I have some lace here. Um, or material. I could also make a nice little because I'm really not I'm not digging having both of these on like this. So I think maybe what I might do here which I could take a nice little lace panel 
I can make a little tab with a lace. And I could actually take the She is Hopeful. I like to try to tell a story. Um, you're probably saying, boy, she really likes to use these tags, or doesn't she have anything else to use? I like to try to tell a story. If I have, um, you know, like right here, you know, she's running for president. Yes, yeah, she has courage. Um, yes, I mean, she is hopeful that she's going to win or whatever. And it's it's just, for me, it's just all part of the story. And I think what I might do, which I usually, again, I don't do, um, or I haven't done in the past. Is I could staple this. But I don't know if I'm liking that. I may just run, let me see if I can run a little stitch at the bottom of it now this is where the saying comes in she is hopeful because it's tiny and i don't have you can see i don't have a lot of room here so let's give it a whirl let's give it a whirl There we go. There we go. There we go. And was I able to catch this side? Yeah. Yep. So that's pretty good. And this one I will pull through um, just so I can tie it off on this side. And then I think when I'm done with this, I don't know if I have, I think I have time for one more. What time is that? 5.10. I can do another real quick one. And then I got to go down and get my, I got to get the baked potatoes in the oven. Because I promised my family we'd eat it. Uh, 6.15, so. I guess I could put them on. Convection bake. Sorry, my friends. I just want to, I could probably do this later. And I, will, I'll, I won't continue with that while you're, there we go. So that will be gone. So yeah, I like that better. All right. So that's done. So we have that one. We have this one here. And we have this one. So let's see. Can I get one more done? Uh, I'm not going to do this big one. So I'm going to do another pocket with that. Uh, let's see. How about if we... I'd like to use Missy here. Which one? Let's see here. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Kind of like her. And 
I don't want to. That's another problem I have. I don't want to cover. I don't want to cover this up a lot. So let me grab my flower, my fussy cut flowers. And maybe, just maybe, I have my bucket here of all my cut flowers and my, I have to put this on my desk because, or my lap, because I have no room right now on my desk to put anything. And I don't know how that happens. And these might be, let's see, maybe I can get some roses here. That way I could just add a few roses. Some of them are just very, very large cuttings. Really don't want to use a deep red. White is pretty. I like that. And I don't want to use a pink. I think I'm going to go with the white. And if my pile falls over, I'm doomed to the right of me. Now, she also comes. I can do it like this as well. See, um, just see what else here I might have. Let me see here. When I pull, I'm trying to only pull certain things that I want to use when I make these. Um, because if I don't, as you know, your piles get bigger and bigger and bigger, and then you have all this extra stuff that you haven't used. So I have some sayings from Mrs. Cog here that I love. And maybe we can put a saying on here. Life isn't about finding yourself. Life is about creating yourself. I like that. Create reality. Think positive. Fingers crossed. Gratitude. I think I like this one. So actually, I could move this up a little bit, a wee bit. And I'm going to, ah, oh, maybe not use that. I'd really like her red bag to show. And if I was smart, which I could be, Confidence. I could do this. I could actually cut this right down. And put it on like this. So again, just because, you know, you have something on a card that is side by, or, you know, side by side, you don't have to 
you don't have to um, use it like that. You can, you know, cut one word, cut two words. There we go. All right, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to finish this one up. And thank you for, um, if you are crafting along with me today, thank you. And thanks for joining in and taking a peek of, you know, the tags I create, my style. Everybody has their own style, just like when you go shopping for your clothes and as much as I'd like to change my style a lot of times and um, you say, oh, I'm going to do it this way or I'd really like to do it that way. Well, just think about how many times you go to the dress shop or your, I'm showing my age there, the dress shop. You go to the store and or you go online to buy something and we are creatures of habit. We buy the same things. We buy the same colors. Um, sometimes it's hard to change your, your thinking with your art as well, but I guess that's what makes everybody unique. Everybody has their own style, and that's how you recognize, oh, that's so-and-so's, you know, work or that's so-and-so's work it's just your style so okay um i don't know if i can peel her or not now sometimes with spix picks she does make stamps but then stickers than other times she doesn't now this may not be these gals may not be stickers sometimes it's just hard to yeah there's i think she's a sticker yeah yep so i'm going to peel her right off there we go this little one. So at any rate, thank you for watching. Um, I really appreciate it. And if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And I'd love to have you subscribe so you can see all that's going on over here in my little world. Probably not as exciting as some of the other gals, but I think I've got something to offer and to show. Yeah. All right. And again, I'm going to use um, I'm going to use some more of this Italian. If I can find the end. And actually, I think maybe I might use the darker one just as a nice contrast to the light blue. So, all right. Let me take a little snippet of this. And we will attach this on there. I said a little snippet. I guess I did do a little snippet, didn't I? There. There. All right, I'm going to push all this stuff out of the way. So, there's another tag. All right, so we got three tags done. This one I had originally done and had shown you. Excuse the mess. So, this was the original one. And then I showed you the second one. 
And then we created the larger one with a pocket for this journal card, which I think is really cute. And then the create reality. So there you go. Four tags and we'll just, I'll just keep plugging along to create more ephemera for my journal. And uh, there you have it. Some pretty little tags with some beautiful women here. So like I said, thanks again, everybody for joining in. I appreciate it. Um, if you like this video and you found it useful and helpful, give it a thumbs up. And I'd love to have you subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks everybody. Bye-bye.